Hey everyone, we hope that everybody is doing well. We have some exciting news to share with you all in today's video. The Jeremy Kylie show has been returned under the microscope after a two-section Channel 4 documentary raised doubt about the show's treatment of visitors. For a very long time, the Jeremy Kylie show was one of the ITV's most watched programs, routinely drawing in crowds of the north of 1 million. The show was stopped airing in 2019 after on air guest Steve Diamond, 63, was found dead in his Portsmouth home who failed a lie detector test. The instrument has no scientific basis and he was not cheating his fiancée, so he was found dead at his home just days later. The show was co-hosted by Graham Steiner, director of aftercare on the controversial show before it was axed. People who saw Jeremy Kylie saw death on daytime also claimed that guests were exploited, questioned why Mr. Steiner was not featured despite being an integral part. However, Mrs. Tanner told a different thing. He said that the show has created a platform for people to talk about emerging topics and it has also benefited the guest. Stainer was born in Rockdale in 1952. He grew up in Daniel Fold Council State and studied Red Brick School and became a registered mental health nurse. He has a degree in psychotherapy and he did counseling for ITV in 2005, also did counseling role on the Jeremy Kylie show before becoming the network's director of aftercare. He also made it his appearance on O'Brien's show in 2015 which was hosted by radio presenter James O'Brien. In 2016, he wedded Steve, his partner of 32 years. Kylie moved in with them every year in the wake of separating from his ex Carla Germany, yet moved out after proposing to his children's caretaker Vicky Burton. Stainer appeared before a Department of Culture, Media and Sport DCMS committee investigating UK reality TV before the death of Mr. Diamond. ITV had as of late declared an improved consideration process for members on the show, including at least a therapy meeting for guests, however, chose in late 2019 to take it off the air forever. Talking about this news, he said, This is the presenter's style. I'm responsible for me and my behavior. I can be responsible for the presenter's behavior. I'm responsible for me and guests. The responsibility for the presenter lies with production. I'm never comfortable with the black and white statements. However, a report suggests that from a clinical perspective, it is not possible to see evidence of the necessary preparatory work that has been undertaken concerning the psychological screening and well-being of the participants. The role of Director of Aftercare as witnessed here seems to lack appropriate boundaries and appears to be undefined. It concluded that the needs of participants are not elevated over the needs of the show in relationship that can only be viewed as exploitative. ITV have a different perspective. It says, the physical and mental health of everyone we work with is our highest priority and ITV is committed to working across the industry, including with other broadcasters, packed and our regular of com to share best practices and continue to strengthen and evolve our duty of care processes. The participation of the public in television programs has been right at the heart of TV since it began. We believe that these shows are all the better for the talent, energy and diversity of the members of the public who take part in them, and we are committed to continuing to ensure that their welfare is also the heart of what we do. Thank you for checking this video out. We will see each other very soon with another video. If you like this video, give us a like and do subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. If you have anything to say, do let us know in the comment section below. We will make sure to reply your comments.